more little biochemistry thing about ferritonin is we talked about how um, dopamine is created through tyrosine hydroxylase that is iron dependent process to make more dopamine for our brain. And so in children, especially children with ADHD, if they are not having adequate iron stores, we're not able to make as much dopamine as we need and we have the kind of ADHD symptoms exacerbated that we see. So things like um, restlessness, irritability, inattention, impulsivity, those sorts of things. Now, iron is also involved in serotonin synthesis. So when we think about serotonin, we think about our mood and our calmness and regulation and those sorts of things. When our iron stores are low, it affects serotonin synthesis as well. Serotonin is synthesized by tryptophan hydroxylase, which is another iron dependent enzyme. Ferritin delivers iron to the brain so that it can get and help create serotonin. Serotonin is a precursor for melatonin. And so both of those can be decreased if we have iron deficiency. So outside of restless leg, outside of anemia, low iron stores as measured by a ferritin level can cause low serotonin levels, which can affect mood, anxiousness, irritability, um, depression, those sorts of things. And so when we're talking about how can we make sure that we've optimized? Well, let's make let's check a ferritin level. It's one milliliter of blood. It's an inexpensive test that comes back like the same day or the next day. Um, it's an easy test to do. And it gives us something that we can actually say, okay, in addition to these other things that we're doing to help with ADHD or anxiety, what if we make sure that their iron stores are allowing their brain to get enough iron to create those neurotransmitters so that that has been ruled out as an issue. So when we're talking about ferritin levels, we want to try and get the level around 50 nanograms per milliliter to ensure that we've eliminated iron as the issue when it comes to behavior and mood symptoms that we're seeing.